Okay, here is graphs and tracks. You're gonna use this to explore different kind of motion graphs. I just wanna make sure you, I'm sure you can figure this out on your own, but just, um, you just drag this little thing to change the ramp height, okay? And it's best just to step it by one for this experiment, okay? And you basically just, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. What the heck? Blah, 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 blah. okay? All right, um, and in certain ones, you'll have to change the initial position. So do you see if you click here, you can go to here. And then the velocity, you won't see what's happening, okay? But you'll just know that it's happening, okay? Um, so for this one, since it's going up the hill, right, on whatever ones are these, you have to set the initial velocity. To the right is positive, to the left is negative, okay? Um, and then when you're ready, just roll the ball. You can click what kind of graph you want up here, um, right? So I can just kind of take a look. And then for these ones where it's going up a hill, just click roll ball at the top because you just want to see this piece of it. All right, just up the hill, okay? When you wanna do velocity graph, you have to click it again. Okay, so again, just when it gets to the very tip top, just stop it, okay? And then same for acceleration, okay? All right, and then stop. All right, and then you're just gonna sketch these graphs. They don't have to have numbers or anything. Um, in class kick, just use the pen tool and just you know sketch them in there, all right? That's how you change it. Um, when it's gonna go in a negative direction, Okay, and it's going to start on the other side, then you have to change, you know, the ball to start like over here, and then it can go up the hill this way. All right, that is all.